what's going on guys so this right here is my logitech c922 webcam that i recently purchased about a month and a half two months ago and after about the first week of using it i've had major problems with it i keep getting usb not recognized come up when i try to start it i also have it where the lights just flash a few times whenever i try to use it and then it's just not recognized in any software the logitech software or osb so I'm tired of it. I'm gonna get into this repair and I'm gonna work on it. Now, in the video coming up, this is actually after the fact, Doug, as an introduction, but I thought I was filming the teardown part of it and I didn't actually press the record button correctly, I'm assuming. So it starts off kind of at an in-between weird part, but basically all I did was use a screwdriver to pop the little side pieces off and that gave me access to all the little screws on the inside. And then I had to struggle with popping off this plastic piece. Honestly, I broke a bunch of plastic in it to get to where I needed to get to, to do what I did. I would not recommend you do that, but I had already voided the warranty at that point and I'm not worried about most of the components except getting the camera itself working anyway. So. Here goes the part that I did capture on the camera. All right, so I plugged it up and I'm checking out the Logitech software and it sees the camera. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it's not going in and out yet. So, I unplugged the USB part, check this ground on it right here, I don't know if you can see that, but that's basically what I'm working on. Uh, hopefully, I love the way this camera looks, man, it's so crisp. Right, I'm going to exit out of that program and see if it comes up in OBS. Oh, it is. It is, it's coming up in OBS. So, usually it would come up for a little while and then it would go right back out after about a minute of it sitting there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try just to leave it on and see what it does for a few minutes. We'll start recording on OBS at the same time. And see what happens. Does that bring yeah? Alright, so now I'm recording from OBS and from this camera. Um, so that would be cool. If we can get it fixed. So I really want to be able to use this webcam again. That would be awesome. So, I'm just going to keep recording on this. I'm going to cut this one off to save memory card, and I'll let you know what, how it goes. been long enough we're gonna go ahead and attempt to put it back together but I'm gonna let it keep running while I put the parts back on to see if there's something with this causing it to go out if that makes any sense considering that
it's still recording. Um, how far down is that supposed to go? That's supposed to go way far down. Now that it went, it clicked in. Alright, so that's still working. Now I did break one of the microphones. I lost a microphone. So that's fine. I don't use the mic from this anyway. I do want my stand back in there. So we will be putting that back in. I need to see a little better with what I'm doing. So far, so good. that these LEDs get really warm on the back side. I don't know if it's a cooling issue. got this put back together and now we're going to check everything out for a few more minutes then I'll be back to you and hopefully I'll just be recording on this there you have it we have the camera working again it's actually been about four and a half hours since I completed the repair uh, I'm very happy this is the longest the thing stayed on since I've bought it um, I did get it at a really good price used. I have this tendency to take things apart without really looking into how to do it the right way. So by the time that I tinkered with it enough to even get it to where I could get into the housing, I had already voided the warranty. So that's why I just went ahead and went hands in. And uh, Would I recommend you do the same thing I did with it? No, by no means. Do not do what I just did. Um, I feel like I did get lucky there was really no technical knowledge or anything that I specifically did besides just making sure that that ground pin was right and resetting the USB plug on the inside of the camera by the lens uh, it worked out and I'm very pleased I just didn't want this camera to go to waste because I really like it but hopefully it'll stay like it should and I can use it now there's a little bit of damage to the outside of the plastic which is fine I 
you can't even really tell from over here and we did have one of the microphones fall out that I broke off where it was soldered on but I don't use the microphones in the camera anyway but yeah that'll do it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching me destroy something to put it back together have a good one